the court error in the case of Madalena Kojakari. The Mecklenburg County District Attorney confirming to WCNC Charlotte the bond for her mother, Diana Kojakari, was accidentally reduced. Diana is charged in connection to the disappearance of this Cornelius girl, of course, who's been missing for almost a year at this point. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman joining us live, breaking down what's behind this mix up a big one here, Julia. Right, Colin, we learned this morning that Diana Kojakari's bond had been reduced to $100,000, which is down from the original $250,000. So we spent today talking to legal experts to find out possible reasons as to why her bond was lowered. What could this possibly mean for Madalena's case? Only to find out that reduction was an error. So the Mecklenburg County District Attorney's Office tells us in a statement, quote, it was brought to our attention there was incorrect information in the system. When we raised an inquiry with the clerk's office, within a matter of hours, the displayed information was corrected to reflect the unchanged status of this inmate's bond conditions. This error comes as the Mecklenburg County Court is dealing with the rollout of e-courts. Since first launching in North Carolina, reports of glitches led law enforcement agencies to voice concerns about public safety. There have also been long lines at courthouses, delayed hearings, and even allegations of civil rights violations. Just this past Sunday, for example, in Mecklenburg County, a technical error in e-courts caused significant delay in completing processes in the jail. For about six hours, magistrates were unable to schedule future court dates into the new system. So Mecklenburg County, just for context, is the fifth county in the state to roll out this system despite pushback. So obviously we still have a lot of questions as to how exactly this error happened and if it affected any other inmates. So stick with us as we learn more and update you guys on air and online at WCNC Charlotte. Guys. Yeah, and certainly doesn't look good, Julia. Appreciate that report. Thank you. And a reminder for folks at home, we have been covering this disappearance of Madalena Kojikari since the beginning. You can find a comprehensive timeline of this case if you'd like to catch up right now inside the WCNC Charlotte mobile app.